These are my first impressions on the Pegasus 39 by Nike. Throughout the video, I'll give you my thoughts on the shoes so far when wearing them while running, training, and casually. The Pegasus 39 released towards the end of June. The shoe retails for 130 US dollars, which is $10 more than the Pegasus 38. And I got these in regular US size 11, which is true to size for me, but this shoe does offer extra wide sizing options. This 2022 version of the Pegasus introduced a couple new features, but also went back to previous models for inspiration as they borrowed some elements from the past for this latest version. The shoe is basically the same as the Pegasus 38, but imagine that it was combined with certain aspects of the Pegasus 36 and with the new upper. One of the biggest things about the 39th version of the shoe for me is that it kept the wider overall fit that was introduced with the 38. Although I have to admit it fits a little tighter at the instep and midfoot. This could be due to Nike going back to the flywire cables after ditching them with the 37. The cables provide a lot of security at the midfoot though and combined with the inner bands that adjust the upper to sit closer towards your foot they create a very secure and stable experience the only part of the upper that hasn't felt as secure however is the collar i had to use the extra lace hoops in order to adjust the fit as my heel would constantly slip and feel uncomfortable and also made me overthink my form while running now the shoes still got loose around this area as i continued wearing them and it's definitely my biggest complaint about them after wearing them for a while the fit at the ankle is so loose that you can see the separation between the ankle and the collar. This was a bit of an issue with the 38 for a while last year, but once I used the remaining lace hoops, it was pretty much fixed and it became my favorite shoe. Something that did stay consistent with the 38 though was the React midsole found on this latest version. Well, actually, the last two versions of the Pegasus also had a React midsole, but the one on this 39 is a bit different. It's slightly softer and more cushioned, which helped a lot with energy return and impact reduction and it's also very responsive and I honestly still find it hard to believe that you're not paying more money for this foam. I guess you are paying $10 more than last year but that's probably just inflation. The best thing about the foam is that it makes for a great combination with the two air zoom units within the midsole which is also something that's somewhat new. The Pegasus 36 still had a full length unit that covered the heel and the forefoot but Nike took that away and kept a single unit at the forefoot for the last two versions but they decided to bring back a bit more responsiveness at the heel this year by adding another air zoom unit. Out of the two units, the one at the forefoot is the one that stands out the most and it feels like it could be a very similar situation to the Winflow 9 where the bubble is sitting closer to the sole of your foot. This bubble does create more of a snappy feeling for me but the entire midsole feels very bouncy, responsive and light. The entire shoe feels very light actually and that's the one thing I've loved about them so far. The 38 wasn't heavy by any means means but the upper on this one is thinner and it doesn't feel too restrictive which helped a lot with my strides feeling natural. The lightweight feeling was incredibly helpful for training as well especially when I was boxing. The only thing that I kept noticing while boxing though was the loose fit at the collar and while it didn't feel uncomfortable it was definitely noticeable. And I do think that these are a better option for running but I would still recommend them as gym shoes since they are a bit flatter against the ground. I noticed this while using them for different exercises and they were pretty stable but specially responsive for jumping exercises and plyometrics due to the react midsole and air zoom units. And this is something that transferred from the Pegasus 38 since that shoe is incredibly good for both running and training and that's what made it my favorite shoe last year. Something else that the 39 kept from the 38 is that it also looks great while wearing casually. This is definitely one of the few running shoes that I would wear with jeans as they look pretty tapered and modern. Also, I am a huge fan of this colorway and while it might be hard to match with every outfit, it can be subtle but it can also stand out from other shoes so it's a great balance. And these are obviously incredibly comfortable to walk around for a while thanks to the midsole. I actually wore them when I went to play mini golf with my friends recently and walking around the course wasn't an issue at all. Even with the $10 increase and the loose fit at the collar, I think that these are a great option and very hard to pass on if you're looking to have a shoe that can be worn for different situations. However, I don't think that these are worth the upgrade from the 38 if you are satisfied with the 38s, so just keep that in mind. I will be making a more detailed comparison video between the two shoes in the future, but in the meantime, make sure you watch the first impressions video for the 38 if you haven't already.